very warm welcome to all the members of the media and press who gathered here to be a part of this momentous occasion. And of course, a very warm welcome to all our distinguished guests who have come here to join us at this very, very grand launch at Nubia. Well, we are truly very excited. Firstly, we would like to thank you all for taking our time from your busy schedule to be a part of this afternoon. Well, we promise you lots of excitement, lots of action and loads of memories today. Well, ladies and gentlemen, to begin with, Nubia started its journey on 31st October 2012 as a premium smartphone brand. And since then, there was no looking back. They have 60,000 patents in mobile technology in their name. It has also given the world the very first bezel-less smartphone. So today we are going to be talking about various features and innovations. And I promise they are going to be very exciting. Not only this, they have always been on the forefront of innovation in technology, especially smartphone photography. In the year 2004, the very first photograph of the galaxy was taken by the smartphone with the clearest picture of Gemini as well as star trails. The picture was known as one instant, one eternity. The picture has been put at a permanent place in Beijing Planetarium. Well, that is truly an honor for each one of us at Nubia. Nubia is very excited because of this journey has been very successful in the past few years. And today we are coming up with a launch with two new smartphones that are definitely going to revolutionize the perception of people regarding smartphone. Your smartphone can help you live a life which is richer, which is vibrant and definitely a life which lets you be yourself. So I hope each one of you is as excited as we are about this afternoon. To begin with, it's an honor for us today to have amongst us a very special person from New York. Welcome him. Can you have a big round of applause for him? There he is. Welcome, sir. We are truly privileged to have you here with us today. I know that each one of us has been waiting for a very long time and have been wanting to know more about Nubia and the latest smartphones. To tell you more about the company, the journey so far, I would like to welcome on stage a very special person, the country manager, India Nubia Technology. May I request Eric to please take on the stage and tell us in detail about Nubia. Welcome Eric, a big round of applause for him please. Hi. Yes, thank you for the Solina for such nice uh, introduction. So, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure to be here in this wonderful city, Delhi, to share some of our stories and the latest innovation of Nubia. So, Nubia. So, Nubia, your first reaction to this day will be an old civilization. And this is the uh, origin of Nubia. The meaning of Nubia means the gold, the land of gold. So four years ago, we chose this day to be our brand name. And in China, Nubia is well known as First Lady Four. On the left is the uh, visit Pandira, China's first lady, and uh, an art wear. So we know what she was holding in her hand. That was a Nubia smartphone. So she was using it during her visit to Germany. On the right side is a photo of Milky Way. So why we put this one here? Actually, this photo, there is a very interesting story behind it. So this photo is taken by a Nubia smartphone. And uh, this is the first picture or photo that was captured by a smartphone in human history. Now, this famous photo is collected in Beijing Planetarium and China Photography Associates. So from then on, users describe Nubia as a phone that captures stars. Be yourself. It is the philosophy of our brand. So Oscar Wilde once said, be yourself, as everyone heard already taken. So Nubia believes each and every one is unique, and diversity makes the world go around. Committed to delivering the unique experience, Nubia we are encouraging all the users to be different, to be yourself. So, what is the difference of Nubia? The answer to this question for millions of Nubia users will be 
imagination. From the first day that Lubia was born, imagination is in the DNA of our brand. And today, the homogeneous competition in the mobile industry is intensified. People say that mobile innovation is dying, but we don't think so. The key is imagination. So, Lubia believes that logic can get one from A to B, but imagination can take you everywhere. Lubia will continue to push boundaries of imagination and innovation. Fueled by our imagination, Lubia owns more than 60,000 patents, which makes us a leader in the mobile industry. And one example of our imagination is the first battery smartphone in the world, with a unique art design and fit technology. So, our battery smartphone combines the aesthetic appeal and intuitive visibility. Nubia also made history by introducing the universal carrier compatibility in 2012. It is the first time that a phone can support all the carrier network in China. And now, this uh, universal carrier compatibility has been the industry's norm. So, our mission today has seen us reach a number of key business milestones. We entered the European market just one year later after our brand was born. And most recently, Lubia's profile has reached a new level when one of the world's greatest football stars, Cristiano Ronaldo, was appointed as our brand ambassador. To deliver the better experience to the users in the world, Lubia is now active in the foreign market, Europe, America, and Asia. So, the spirit of our imagination is evident by our flagship Z series. Lubia launched the first smartphone in 2012, Lubia Z5. It is the world's first smartphone to provide professional camera experience in a super slim design. In 2014, we launched Lubia Z7. Remember the photo that I just showed you, the photo of Milky Way. So, Z7 is the hero behind that photo. And just some time later, in 2015, we launched Nubia Z9. It's the world's first battery smartphone, which won us many international design awards, such as the Good Design Award in Japan and the IF Design Award in Germany. Today, our legend continues as we will bring you our latest innovation. So, Nubia Z11 embodies the Spirit of dreams are hungry, the spirit of high flies. For those who dare to imagine, I am doing. So right now, I would like to invite Mr. Suhiya to take you through to the front. Thanks, Eric. Thank you for giving us a little glimpse into what the Nubia family is all about. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful family that's grown in innovation, grown with imagination as well. As the wonderful Coco Chanel once famously said, beauty really begins the moment you decide to be yourself. And I think that's quite apt given that we're here today. And Nubia really does give each of every one of us the opportunity to be ourselves through their phones. Now, beauty really is as beauty does. And therefore, we need to make sure this beauty really does something quite special. Sorry, can I just have the picture off as well? You know, and, and really, at the end of the day, we have to look at what this thing of beauty really, really does. We start with the design, because I think that's where we really know this is where it comes to life. A bezel-less screen, which has 81% screen-to-body ratio, no other phone in its category with a 5.5 inch size has this impressive screen-to-body ratio. I think that's something we need to keep a mind of, but how did we achieve it? with our ARC 2.0 refractive production. I think this is where we push innovation, we push imagination, and we continue to innovate. Now, of course, this is something for me I really, really enjoy. The flush rear view camera really does sit quite integrally into the back of the phone, and what it also does is it really takes away the ability to damage the rear camera at all. But at the same time, what Nubia has done, and what we continue to do, is make sure we do not compromise on the quality of our pictures as well. Of course, the aesthetics. Now, this is something that's quite important, and it's quite funny, you know, you, you, you pick the phone 
up and it's a 5.5 inch full HD phone, but it really feels like a compact 5 inch phone in the hand. Well, how do we really achieve that? Again, design elegance, we push things to the brink and we put together Fit 2.0. It is the patented Fit which is really quite impressive. It's a frame interactive technology which we really need to give you a better glimpse into and we will do just that in a few minutes. Now it really is a new dimension of interaction because with most phones, and when, when, when we talk to phones, we quite often only talk about the screen. What we've done is go beyond the screen and talk about the screen edges as well. We've talked about the frame of the phone and that's where our fit technology really comes into play. Let's have a look. Without boundaries, for breaking through limitations, to fostering innovation in every aspect, the power of imagination enables us to explore new ways of interaction. In an instant, share, capture, and enjoy life at your fingertips. The aesthetics of symmetry portray exquisite lights and shadows. Swiping gently without complexity can lead to simple delights. Seamless navigation with every touch. Control with precision and speed at any time to reach wherever your heart desires. Go far beyond your imagination. From surpassing barriers of technology to going beyond our existing knowledge. Never stop imagining. The brand new Nubia Z11 Fit 2.0. Experience a borderless future with endless possibilities. <laughs> but with over 60,000 patents, we knew we had to keep pushing the boundaries of technology, and we've done just that with this frame interactive technology. I think fit is something that is quite exciting and really is quite cool to play with when you start to play with the frame and not just the, the, the bezel on the side as well. And it's, it really is adding something different, something unique to a phone experience. Now the design elegance we know is impressive, but it's an integral part of it too as the frame we talk about. And there's a lot of talk always about the user interface. How easy is it? How seamless is it? How, you know, how fun is it for a user but at the same time Unflutter, and that's all of which Nubia has achieved to do with their user interface 4.0. You know, with 4.0, we really have found new additions, new integral additions, and one of them is Super Screenshot. This is something that really, really excites me. You know, we, we talk about revolutionary changes, but I think what we got with the Super Screenshot is something which gives you options. It gives you the option to record just a normal screenshot and option to then record a longer screenshot. But what I really love and what I really, really enjoy is the option of doing a video recording of everything on your screen. I mean, for me, I'm someone that uses social media a lot. I'm on Twitter a lot. And, and what I like to use a lot is, is to send users information. I like to play with it a bit and edit those shots. And what Super Screenshot gives me the opportunity to do is do just that. Pick up a screenshot of everything on my screen, pick up longer articles that sometimes you can't quite capture just on your screen, and then be able to edit that. What it also does is give you the ability, as I said earlier, to video edit and actually have everything on your screen play. Now, we might love to share information in India, but we also love to multitask. We're a generation of multitaskers, and therefore, the split screen function really comes into play as well. It's something that really has been innovated before, but what it does here is gives you the ability when, for instance, send a text while you're editing a video. For me, that's something that I, I was doing a couple of days ago while I sort of was playing around with the prototype. And it really was quite fun to be able to sort of send notes to a producer or an editor of, of a video and at the same time sort of write your text to him, put your notes together. So I think these are some of the small key innovations that start to play a bigger role as we go along. But obviously, empowering a new generation of mobile photographers. And for me, this is a big one. I'm an avid photographer, I really enjoy it, it's something I love to do, but being someone that owns a DSLR, I don't like to lug it around all over the place. It's something that is difficult, it's something that you don't want to do when you're trekking somewhere, and what this 
phone does, the Nubia Z11 really gives us the opportunity to be professional photographers with a handheld smartphone. I think these are exemplary examples of what we get. These are pictures taken with the Nubia and you can take a look at exactly what it does. This is a phenomenal option. The start rail is something that is unique. It's been patented and it's something that really has been brought alive by Nubia. We saw Sonali talk about it earlier, but this is a brilliant example of exactly what it does. Now, of course, how did we achieve this? There is one way to talk about it. Neovision. Again, patented technology from the Nubia family and this is something that is quite extraordinary itself. Since 2012, Neovision really tried to equip every smartphone user with the ability to become a professional photographer on the fly. I think that's exactly what we've done. With Neovision 1.0, we gave independent focus and exposure metering. We launched that in 2013. Then with 2.0, multi-exposure came in. So too, a small step for Nubia because it's a company for us that constantly innovates, as I've said before, but it's a giant leap in photography. It's, it's a huge step in the right direction. And this is why. Handheld electronic aperture, and this is something that is really changing the game. We'll tell you a little bit more about it. These are the results, the phenomenal results you get, because what you get here is long exposure pictures, but up to 72 seconds. Now that's quite special, because this is something we don't normally even get on DSLR cameras. I think this is something we need to understand. On a smartphone, do not be able to have to play with the smartphone for hours on end to try and figure something out, figure out a setting. This is something we can achieve with something in your very hand. Again, something quite exciting, the Panorama 3.0. With this handheld stabilization that we get with the new technology, what it does is it gives you panoramic images like that. Crisp, not so blurry. I mean, for me, I find when I'm traveling or if I'm at a sports event and I'm sort of getting a panoramic shot or something, the only tendency I try to get is the blurry effect at the very end of it. With our handheld stabilization, this is what we're able to achieve. No blur, and then we get to the macro camera. I think there's two things in India that, that are quite popular when it comes to our phones. We, we love to take a selfie, and then we love to take pictures of food. And I think with the macro camera, the latter just starts to come alive. We really can create masterpieces with this macro camera. You know, it's hard to not be excited by some of these features, but for me, this is something that really is you know, moving closer and closer to where we want to be in a professional mold of photography. I mean, these are actual images taken by the Nubia and, and you know, for me, pictures of food really excite me generally, so I think this is quite exciting. Um, how did we achieve it? You know, this is where normally many macro cameras fail a little bit. You know, it's slow to focus, difficult to focus, and therefore we get a high failure rate. What changed? We have a 0.2 of a second high speed focus and therefore we produce results that are quite astounding. Throw in with that three focus modes and four shutter modes and clearly you can produce absolute masterpieces. Now this releasing shutter, manual shutter and time burst mode really does help and these are options that you can start to play with once you've got the phone in your hand. Peaking focus, this is something else that really is in addition to everything else that you get with the macro camera. Again, more to play with. It's just a fun phone. The minute I got my hands on it, the camera was something I could not put aside. That's the result. I mean, the ability to play with your focus a bit is quite special and really for me is, is something that really you can start to understand a bit more once you get your hands on the phone. Mario looks a bit happy there. Just really good examples of, of Indian Nubia enthusiasts that have started to play with the phone a little bit. I mean, really, there's not much to be said because that is stunning, absolutely stunning images. Now we know that in India, mileage is crucial to cars and uh, when it comes to phones, battery life is just as crucial. So let's come straight to the point. What impacts battery life really? The power efficiency of hardware, battery capacity and the power efficiency of the operating system. Power saving mode, we hear this a lot and quite often what it does is it really is restricts the phone, it restricts data connectivity and quite often also hinders the performance of the phone and sacrifices the visual effect of it. How have we changed that? Well, firstly, we've done away by not having lower hardware configurations because again, what you don't want is a slower phone. What you don't want is to just compromise on your phone's performance. Larger battery capacity, what does that do? It makes the phone heavy, it really makes it quite bulky. We didn't want to go there either. 
Therefore, what do we aspire to do? Longer lasting battery life, with an elegant product design, with an excellent system experience, but also with a really powerful hardware configuration. This again draws down to the perfect 3000 mAh high density battery, which is powered by the patented Neo Power 2.0. I think this is something that's quite special because in the Z11, 5.5 inch bezel is screen, we talked about it, has a second generation JDI pixel eye screen, but it also gives you that richness of color. It really has lifted the color completely in the phone. The rear camera, it is spectacular. It really is something we've seen already through the images. We've seen the examples of what it really can do. But it's a 16 megapixel camera with noise reduction and local tone mapping as well. Aperture brilliant at 2.0, sapphire glass which is integral, but the pictures really speak for themselves. Throw in then the front camera, and it's really just as impressive. Housing an 8 megapixel camera with smart light compensation and the ability to retouch video filters is, is really remarkable and it's fun to play with and we know we're all closet selfie experts somewhere. I know you're all not going to admit it at some point, but we all love a good selfie. Then you come to the ability to not drop calls. I mean, it is the bane of a good conversation is, is a call dropping at any point. So the multi-antenna single boost technology again, something that's true to the Lugia brand, kicks in here with a rise of 30% in call quality, data transmitting speed goes up, and the communication power consumption drops as well. We've really managed that quite well. Finally, massive storage. This is integral for me. A big, big component of what a phone has to have. 6 GB RAM, 64 GB ROM on the Black Gold Edition, and expandable up to 200 GB. Fingerprint recognition is not just going to be used to unlock your phone, but in the days of demonetization, we like to use it to, uh, to make a few payments as well. It might help the cause. It comes into to play with the super screenshot, which we talked about. It's got the ability to encrypt apps as well for me, which is quite integral, but also it is really, really quick to power up your phone. Finally, also a big part of it for me, I'm on flights a lot, I'm in cars and in traffic in Bombay and, and, and Delhi now, and, and the, the one thing I want is good music on the run. This is powered by a very, very familiar name you might just recognize. Don't be at cost, theatre surround sound in this Nubia Z11 and for me, we don't really need to say much when that thing pops up on our screen. You know, I, I don't need to say it more often. I think we've seen plenty of what the phone has to offer. Over 10 lakh pre-orders on the first day of launch and uh, clearly selling out quite quickly as well. So my advice would be get your hands on it as quick as you can. This is the Nubia V11. It is stunning. I'm going to let you just have a quick look at it. But it is farewell now to bid to our daily charging woes because it's time to unleash our second technological showstopper of the day. Now this is another power pack phone, it's something that is very different to the first but in many ways just as impressive. Why? Because A, it is the Nubia N1 which has a 5000 mAh battery, it is something that has never been Seen before with a 13 megapixel front and rear camera in its category at all. And we talked about the previous power pack battery option in the Z11. What does this do? 1.9 days for a heavy user and 3.1 days for a normal user. And that's pretty much charging your phone thrice a week or maybe even less sometimes. You know, super long standby mode literally means you only need to charge this next gen a couple of times, you're good to go on the fly. And it's powered by our very own Neo Power 2.0, as we talked before. Again, even a heavy end user really needs to only look for a wall token every now and then. But this is what excites me. We have not compromised on the photography. You still feel like a mobile photography expert because with a 13 megapixel camera on the front and on the back, it is just so, so impressive. Now again, a 2.2 aperture lens, smart light compensation. We start with the front camera because what it also has is real-time, again, storage, not an issue. 
This is something I know a lot of us as Indian users really have an issue with. They have no expandable storage, not, no ability to sort of play with the phone a bit more. But 32 GB ROM, a 3 GB RAM, and expandable again, up to 120 gigs. And for all of us, therefore, that like our music, like our pictures, and like our videos, and with a phone like this, you really want to. You want to go to town with it. You want to be able to really expose every bit of the technology on offer. It really gives you enough and more. Finally, this time we come to design at the very end. It's just as impressive though. It's made like an absolute aircraft. Aircraft grade aluminium alloy is exactly what this is housed with. And it really means that you've got no delicateness in your hand. It really feels like something extraordinary, something that really is hefty in the hand, yet beautiful. 5.5 inch full HD screen, 1080p, and with a pixel density of 401. This is a treat, an absolute treat for sore eyes. Again, fingerprint recognition kicks in. We know that we can use it to wake up the screen really quick. For me, again, this, the, the key to it is the long screenshot. We've got the super screenshot app that wakes up with the fingerprint technology. And for me, that is quite integral. You know, really, the ability to be able to record your screen or anything that's on your screen is something that we've not seen before. And, and for me, as, as someone that works in film and, and, and TV and stuff, it, it's quite useful that a couple days ago, I guess, just running through a, a video of, sort of the India England test match, I sort of wanted to run through a show again and, and sort of send someone a video. And I'm playing it off, off an online digital app and literally recording the phone, going through the entire screen. I've got the video playing, I've got the audio coming off it as well, and then able to edit it, send it across to someone on the other end. And that's something that's unique, something that's never been seen here. And again, a part of Lumia's patented technology. Finally, again, housing the screen split and the super snap, as I just mentioned, the super snapshot for me is something that is astounding, something that you really need to understand it before and to get it in this N1 as well as the Z11, I think, is credit to Nubia's housing. The long screenshot, these are the three options I was talking about. The long screenshot really does give you the option to take into account longer articles. You might just have something that you want to read and share, which doesn't quite fit on your phone and you want more out of it. And that's what the long screenshot gives you. The free snapshot obviously gives you the opportunity to really cut a shape of your choice to take whatever you want off the screen and send that across. And then the screen recording, which I talked about as well. The fit technology returns. Nubia's 4.0 user interface also returns, uncluttered, seamless, easy to use, and I think that's integral when you talk about the user interface. What you don't want is something complex, something that you really need to take time to figure out, and I think that's exactly what Nubia has achieved. This is an example of the Fit technology. It doesn't just use the screen, we started to use the frame of the phone as well, and swiping on the screen edge gives you ability, double-clicking the screen edge gives you Think gestures that you can play with. You're able to adjust the brightness of your screen as you go up and down the phone as well. Other options that you can create and give yourself opportunities to play with with the phone. Just an example of the simple, smart, colorful, immersive design of the user interface. I think this is quite integral because, again, I talk about unstoppable seamlessness, and I think that's something that Nubia gives us with the phone, with the design, with the elegance, and that elegance continues into the user interface. Finally, a big one for all Indian users, dual SIM capability with the N1 and also, as Eric mentioned earlier, compatible with most global carriers across the world and therefore gives us the 4G capabilities of a top-notch high-end phone. That is the Gold Edition, 32 gigs under it. Farewell to daily charging. It really is a dream, an absolute dream to hold as was the Z11. Mubia, dedicated to innovation and continuous breakthrough, was obsessed with perfection. Stunning artware was created again. Classic was eventually redefined. Go beyond your horizon. Neo Vision 
ignites your passion of creation. Classic colors define elegance. Fit, a new dimension of the world. Extremely symmetry aesthetics. A spirit of imagination. Dream of a perfectionist. Dawn of a whole new era. Nubia Z11. Thank you so much, Sohail. That was indeed one of the most wonderful presentations. We are definitely sold on both the products. Ladies and gentlemen, you've heard about the features, but it's time for you now to experience them. It's